the children will be safe. Well, let's open with prayer. Everyone knows we're going to need it. Father, thank you for this day and all the, the blessings you poured upon us in this beautiful sunshine, and that we'd ask that you'd fill this place with your spirit and touch every need that everybody has this day, and that you would give us the strength to go out and be your hands and feet, Lord. We ask this in your precious name. Amen. Well, Alan has asked me to speak to you this morning in his absence. He's at the walk, and, you know, it's probably only fitting that I'm up here because of that, because they push you to be out of your comfort zone. <laughs> Am I speaking too loud? <laughs> Um, I think I figured out why he asked me. It's because Paul, Polly, and Bob did so well that uh, he was, thought his job was meant to be in jeopardy, so he's going to downgrade a little bit here. So I feel very unworthy to be speaking to you today. With all my being, I wanted to tell him no. I said I would pray about it, and you can see what happened. I lost. So... <laughs> So, so, so today I'd like to want to talk to you about water, and more importantly, living water. I looked it up 
and found out that the Earth is um, about 70% water and that human beings are about 60 to 70% water, depending on what shape we're in. So I just thought that was very interesting how God has shaped the world that we live in. And, and Bob might um, disagree with me or enlighten me that I might have this not correct because I didn't study it out real well. But I think most every living thing, plant and animal, all need water to survive. Humans, for example, can only last an average of about three days without water. All living things cannot survive without water. As humans, before, oh yeah, we have a relationship with Christ, we can drink all the water in the world and still never be satisfied. We are continually searching for something. We always have the feeling that something is missing. That missing element in our lives is the living water of Christ flowing through our bodies. We have to ask him to come into our lives and learn how to let his water flow through us. I don't think it's any coincidence that this world and all the things in it are so dependent on water. It strengthens my faith in a grand creator. I've been thinking about all the weather we've had in this country for the last couple of years and thinking how God waters the earth and how he pours out his living water on us. Last fall we got lots of rain and then a heavy snowpack which led to reservoirs filling up like they haven't been in years. This made me think that when we first become Christians we want to know more and more about Christ and seek him through prayer, searching his word, and fellowship with the flock. When we're doing this, we are growing in our relationship with Christ. His living water is flowing through us, flowing in us, and life is good. When water levels are in balance, we, like all living things, are growing and thriving. Then, just like the weather changes, we too can start becoming more self-reliant and doing things on our own. This summer in the Northwest, all the plants and the brush that had grown so much with all the water from the fall, wet fall and long winter, started to dry out when God shut the water off and started us heading to the terrible fire season we have had. <coughs> As Christians, we can do the same thing. We can start going our own way and don't continue to seek after the living water. Just like that water that quits flowing, we too become stagnant, which allows bacteria and disease to start growing inside of us. We start drying up again and back to the empty lives we had. We become like those dry bones that Alan spoke about last week. We easily become more self-centered in, in this world that promotes us to be me first. Just like the, all the controversy over the standing for the national anthem at, before the NFL games, they all claim they have the right, not even considering why they have the right and how this country is strained from the foundation it was founded on, which was God's word. And if we don't continually seek after him, we also fall into that self-centered life again. Christ came to this world to show us how to live our lives and paid the price for our sins. To also be the bridge to reconcile our relationship with God. While Christ was here on earth, he showed us that God wants us to be servants to others. The Gospels are full of accounts of Christ's life and his examples of serving others. And throughout those accounts of the time he spent in prayer with God to maintain his strength through those times and trials, he kept that living water flowing through him. Lately in the news, there's been all the 
news about the hurricanes and the devastation they have caused. We could have used some of that rain for our dry and barren grounds here in the Northwest, but just like Texas and Florida, too much water coming in and not being able to control the flow causes severe damage also. When I compare this to the Christian walk, I think about people that seek after Christ and get so filled up with living water because they are not letting the water flow through them. If we don't monitor and control the flow of the living water in our lives, we can cause severe damage to ourselves and others. We can start becoming very judgmental of others because they aren't walking as well as us. We can start walking around with a holier-than-thou attitude, which is an easy trap to fall into. We can all be guilty of it sometimes in our lives. Like Christ, we are also to let the living water flow through us by sharing his word and love to others in the world. Churches can easily become closed into themselves and not reach out to serve the world. In chasing our kids around the country and around the world, Corey and I have had the chance to be involved and in, in witness quite a few different churches in recent years and have been very disappointed on how few church members get involved in doing and living out being the hands of God's church. Churches with hundreds and even thousands of worshipers, we both have commented that our church here in Bonners has just as many volunteers out to serve in advance as the bigger churches do, just as Alan has been telling you how proud he is of this church and how we do reach out and serve and help each other. I mean, we are a statement to the community in that fact, but we can always do more. So let's continue to grow in our relationship with Christ. Let his living water flow in and out of us. Christ not only taught the people what God expects of them, but poured out his living water on those he came in contact with. For us to do as Christ showed us, we need to be studying his word and be in continuous, continuous communication with him, being in this church, building this strong family that we can go out and be the hands and feet of Jesus in our community and the world that he wants us to be. I'm going to pray in just a minute, and then we're going to watch a video, if everything works well. I just saw this yesterday, and it really hit me. It's maybe not a full-blown Christian video, but it's reminded me of my upbringing and my... Uh, better read this so I don't choke up. This is what both my parents tried to instill in me and my siblings, which there's a number of us here, as we were growing up. My parents have lived out being the hands and feet of Christ, most, most of you know. So let the living water flow through you so you can be the hands and feet of Christ. I want to leave you with one question, which this video is going to ask you also at the end too, is how are you living? Let's pray. Father, thank you for these words that you have given me, and I hope that they have some impact today, that your word would touch the people here that need to hear this, and I thank you for all that you've done, and it was you go with us this week, and to touch the lives and help us to be the hands and feet that you would like us to be, Lord, to reach out to others and to be a witness to you, Lord, of your love and pour that love out onto others that we come in contact with. And I ask you to give us the strength for this week and protect over those that are traveling home from the walk this week. 
end and to be just continue to rain down the love on the candidates that they will know you even more, Lord. And we ask this in your precious name. Amen.